Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Review anything and everything. And this is a follow up video on I presented this 5.5 fish tank. I'm going to throw the uh, the uh, name in the description and in the title of the branding. Um, I think it's a Aquium or something, but like I said, check in the title, it's going to be there if I'm butchering it. But <clears throat> so I showed a quick video of the tank when it's empty and just speaking about the tank and what you would use it for and you know if it fits you so here i have this tank set up now and i just wanted to show you it now um i've had it now set up for a few days now well maybe a couple of like two weeks and um i have a couple of plants inside there i'm going to put the link in the description on amazon where you can buy those plants after having those plants for a while i actually like them a lot because they seem to be um, <clears throat> they seem to be very good with expanding where you could see here they have the main one and it shoots off like a little offshoot like a, one of those kind of spider plants and um, essentially what happens is it will just keep growing and spreading and then you can cut it at the base that it is attached to from the main part to the, ex the expansion. And then now that expansion becomes its own plant. So it's very good for the purpose of you expanding, um, you know, your plant life inside your tanks. But this is a 5.5 gallon tank, as I mentioned before. So if you want something that doesn't take up a whole lot of space when whatever room you have it, you can um, you can have this type of tank. Now, normally this tank goes to the same price as a 10 gallon tank, which, um, you know, obviously the 10 gallon tank is so common that it's able to uh, be purchased at a cheaper price often, or at least equal to the same price as this one. <clears throat> but for the purpose of space saving, you may want to get something like this. And I purchased this not only for space saving, but it was the first time that I was really trying to set up the tank where I did the whole put dirt and then gravel on top of it. Um, you know, it looks a little bit messy in some aspects because for whatever reason, this just happens sometimes. I'm no expert when it comes to this. A little bit of a cloudiness started to get on some of the rock surfaces like down here. And I don't really know why, but it's not affecting anything um, that I know of. It's not hurting any anything. So, um, so you know, I could say that. But, um, yeah, I, I like the setup. I like the clean setup uh, in my previous larger tank, which you could see in an older video um, where I was my first time really experimenting. I had a lot of dirt in there and not a lot of dirt, but I put some dirt inside little bowls, plastic bowls to put plants in. And I didn't yet know about doing things in this way where you lay down the dirt and then you put the um, you put the gravel on top of it. And I didn't want to do that in that tank because. I didn't want to disturb the balance already. Um, I, and that water has a little bit of a, a kind of um, warm tint to it because of the dirt and the dirt, even though it's settled, it still created this kind of warm tint to it, almost like a, I don't want to say a swampy water because it's not that dark of a tint, but it was almost like this kind of amber kind of tint into the water. This doesn't have it because the dirt I used here was actually sitting in a big circular plastic kind of um tub that you know you could put a top on um i had that dirt sitting in that water for a long time so it's saturated with water already and that was the the dirt that was sitting at the bottom that really kind of separated itself from the floating dirt and the dirt that gets everywhere so after putting that dirt in and then now putting fresh water it didn't tint the water along with the fact that I put a layer of gravel on top. So the dirt becomes very, it has the nutrients for the plants. And some of the plants took a little moment to take, but they're starting to now do a little better um, than they were when I first put them in the tank. Um, Cause I can see that more extensions are shooting off from the base of the plant, which is good. Um, I have two other plants that were also being soaked in that container and it was a sealed container that was um those were just regular outside plants outside like weed type plants that you know were decent and i knew they'd be strong because weeds make decent 
aquatic plants because they're very strong. As long as the top of it can sprout upwards out of the water and the base is inside the uh, roots, what I found is that the same way weeds are a pest to control in your yard, that same life to thrive works good in this challenging environment for it going from a, um, you know, outside non-aquatic plant to being in an aquatic situation because of that kind of versatility to, to thrive. That's what weeds do. So I have some plants back here that are starting to grow and sprout up that are doing pretty decent. Um, not all of them, but most of them seem to be making their way back, even if they took a little while to kind of catch, being that they were transferred into here. Being that I keep this near the window, I do have a little bit of moss growing on the sides. You know, I may just take a, a toothbrush and just wipe that off at a later point in time. But for the most part, it's not too bad right now. And I just wanted to show this to depict for you guys. So that way, anyone who's interested in a tank or setting up a fish tank, they can go about setting it up like this. I will put a link in the description for this plant along with another plant that I had in my previous fish tank. Even though that's not in here, but just so you can kind of know what it is that I was using as far as plants. I thought that the value of them was really good. And um, and even my other plant was growing to the point where the leaves has these big long leaves, like looks like banana type of looking leaves. They look like the shape of bananas that have grown so big now that it encompasses the whole tank, almost putting shade over the whole tank. And yeah, they could be trimmed, but I'm just letting you know that they grow well. So if that's an option that you want, like I said, the link's gonna be in the description. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video.